My name is Unspeakable, and I'm really good at building zoos. We just got an orca. It's a whale. What the flip? <laughs> we also just bought some giraffes. Now it's time for some elephants. Here we go. Oh, big boys. We got a wolf over in here. We got a crocodile. <laughs> Look at how many people are in the zoo right now. We have 105 people visiting our zoo. This is a good business, I'm not gonna lie. So today I'm gonna step it up a notch and we are making a dinosaur zoo. Let me tell you guys, this zoo is gonna be insane. Why do I think that? Because it already has a flipping helicopter and we haven't even built the zoo yet. I am so excited to build this zoo, but we gotta start with the basics. We gotta start with the ticket booths, the bench. We gotta start with the food stands. Look, there's already trash here. We might have to hire someone to help clean up this stuff. Velociraptor enclosure. Oh, some decorations for the Velociraptor. What about the exhibit? And then we also have the Velociraptor itself. Oh, he's free. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, is he coming in on a helicopter? Wait, that's sick. Hi, buddy. Please don't eat me. Also, I don't know how this one foot fence, I'm pretty sure you could jump over this, but. All right, what should we name our Velociraptor? <laughs> you got little arms, so I'm gonna call you little arms. There we go, this is my Velociraptor little arms. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, let's go ahead and buy some seating over here so people can enjoy little arms. All right, let's buy an uh, ova. I'm just gonna call it a raptor. Let's buy a raptor enclosure. Hello, buddy. You're a raptor. Wow, look at the sky. What the heck is going on? Oh, and it's gone. So we need to hire a janitor to pick up trash and poop. <laughs> so they're gonna pick up all the dino poop. That's a lot of poop. There's also other people you can hire like scientists, dino feeders, tour guides. We'll get into that a little bit later. I don't think that's needed right now. We only got two dinosaurs. All right, Mr. Dilophosaurus, it's raining, but you're being dropped in on a helicopter right now. That's pretty cool. What? Oh, he's so small. He's so tiny. He looks cute. He kind of looks like a lizard. Let's buy some mushrooms for this dude, okay? There we go. Is there anything else you need for your habitat? Let's buy some seating over here. Man, it's raining hard. Yo, what do we have over here? I think something big is gonna be in here. Buy some trees for this guy. Oh, this guy's got some big trees. A watering hole, some mushrooms, some logs, some dead trees. Oh, this habitat is getting expensive. Whatever's gonna be in here, I think it's gonna be massive. Oh, it's a triceratops. No flipping way. We haven't tried. Oh, look how big the box is. Oh, this has to be one of the biggest dinosaurs yet. Oh, he is huge. Huge! Wow, this dude is crazy. What should his name be? I really don't know. Oh, look, there's a janitor. Good work, buddy. You're doing a phenomenal job. I haven't found any trash yet. I'm gonna give you a pay raise. All right, we got another big dinosaur enclosure that's going up over here. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. But also, look at this giant hole in the ground over here. I wonder if this is one enclosure that we have to buy. That is massive. Or maybe it's gonna be a pool. This zoo so far is looking really, really good. I love this. Let's buy a billboard. Let's buy some grass for this dude. I don't know who's gonna be in here, but this is also a very big exhibit. So I think there's gonna be a very large dinosaur. A waterfall, an entire water. Oh, wow. An egg nest. Okay, whatever dinosaur this is, it lays eggs. So let's see. It's a bronchiosaurus. Did I say that right? right? Oh, wait, this is those real- Oh my gosh, look how big the box is! You can't even see the helicopter! I think this is one of those really tall dinosaurs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Look how long his neck is. That's what I'm gonna call him. I'm just gonna call you Long Neck. There we go. This is Long Neck. I can't even- Wow, wow. You are so- You're so handsome. You are so handsome. Should I buy a second one? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I don't think we need a second one. After we get a lot of the exhibits set up, we'll go back and we'll buy second dinosaurs. I've spent a lot of money, guys. I have spent over $100,000 on this zoo, and things are only getting more expensive as these more rare dinosaurs are coming in. But it is pretty cool, and it is pretty fun. This is definitely way cooler than the last zoo video we did, because the last zoo video, we just had normal animals. You know, we had penguins, sharks, and those are cool. Don't get me wrong, but- Dinosaurs, bro! Come on, come on. It's like a dream come true. It's a Demetrodon. It's a, is that what you call it? I don't even know what this thing is. Oh, it looks kind of small. There's a the helicopter bringing it in right now. You look kind of small, buddy. 
What? Oh, you're kind of cute. Oh, you're going in the cave. You're a little scared. Stegosaurus enclosure. Aren't stegosauruses like massive? I don't know. That just sounds like a massive dinosaur. A stegosaurus. Ooh, I guess we're about to find out how big this boy is. Stegosaurus exhibit. Here we go. And then the stegosaurus himself. Oh, no, the stegosaurus is not that big. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. That box is pretty massive. Yo, I can't wait till we buy the T-Rex, though. We're gonna buy a T-Rex in this video. I don't care how much money it costs, and we're not just gonna buy one. We're gonna buy two of them. Dude, I don't know what to call you. You're weird. It says you're happy, though, so that's good. But I don't know. I don't know what, what, what do I call you? Big boy lizard, because you look like a giant lizard. What? I can't call him a big boy? Long neck over here is eating food. He seems happy. He's got the little food emoji. Little arms is hungry. Okay, little arms is hungry. We need to feed little arms. Uh, Ford Raptor is also hungry and Pickle is hungry and Bulldozer is seems seems pretty happy okay so this is what we need guys i cannot manage all of this so we need to buy a zookeeper someone that can come feed all the animals and take care of them so let's go to hiring and we need to hire a dino feeder hire a dinosaur feeder to walk around and feed your dinosaurs seems pretty simple let's do it that's what we need there we go so now we have a dinosaur feeder so now none of our dinosaurs should be getting hungry they're gonna get all their nutrients and they're gonna live to be very very healthy also i just noticed there's a lot of people here. Like, I, there's 35. We have 35 people in our zoo right now. 35. That's a good amount of people. Like, this place is really starting to get together. Also, let's figure out what this giant hole is back here. What is this? By water. Oh, snap. Okay. So, whatever is going to be in here is a water dinosaur. I have no idea what it is. It looks like we are about to find out. Or, or maybe this isn't a habitat. Maybe it's just maybe it's just for the looks buy a main building yo what the flip is this this place is huge i don't know what is going on here but also i just noticed guys check this out i didn't notice that around the park we haven't been buying any stores that's why some of our customers are not happy look popcorn store I didn't even see these. Right up here, there is an ice cream store. Not only is this gonna make the customer more happy, but these stores are gonna make us more money. People are gonna wanna buy ice cream. They're gonna wanna buy popcorn when they're looking at the dinosaurs. It totally makes sense. Here's another ice cream shop right here. This one's a little cheaper. This one's $5,000. The other one was 11,000. What up, Pickle? How's it going in here? You're not hungry anymore. Yeah, we got a zookeeper. We're the real deal now. Buy a bridge so we can get over the water. Buy a Tiki torches for the bridge. Buy some rocks. Yeah, look, our zoo is expanding. Also, did you guys see what I just built? This is not a <laughs> this is not a dinosaur habitat. It is actually a ride. It's a boat ride. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. All right, guys, we are slowly running out of money. We only have $140,000 left, which I know sounds like a lot, but we started off with way more than that. And these things are starting to get so expensive. Like, boom. That was $30,000. I'm still trying to find the T-Rex. I don't know where the T-Rex is, but this is an Arctic Circle. Oh my gosh, wait, this is insane. Oh my, wait, this is massive. This ancient bison exhibit is $40,000. I only have $60,000 left, guys. We are running out of money for sure. And I still don't know where the T-Rex habitat is gonna be. I'm guessing it's gonna be over there in that empty corner, but we have to buy all of this stuff first. All right, let's go ahead and get our ancient bison in here, our mammoth enclosure, okay. Guys, we're almost out of money. The, uh, we, I think we can only buy one more thing. Pine trees, yep. We're out of money. We only have $2,000. There is our bison, just chilling. Buy a bathroom. Oh, that would be helpful. We should probably buy a bathroom for these people. I just noticed that. Like, we don't even have a bathroom. There we go. Looks like after sitting for a while, we've made almost $500,000. And we've only been sitting for... 15 minutes. That is crazy, dude. What? There's only 40 people here. They must be spending a ton of money, which is why I'm going to spend $40,000 on this gift shop so they can spend even more money at the safari shop. Everyone is enjoying the Iceland so far. We need to buy more stuff over here. We need to buy a saber tooth. Ooh. Let's see. There's two paths over here that we can buy. A dinosaur rib cage for $8,000. A volcano. Yeah, I want to buy the volcano. Ooh. 
Whoa! Hot dog stand. I just spent $11,000 on that hot dog stand, believe it or not. Look at this massive volcano. How sick is that? We don't own a zoo anymore. We literally own, like, an entire habitat. Okay, that, okay, okay. That dinosaur cage is pretty sick, I will say. That's worth $8,000. Another bridge for $6,000 and some more torches. Come on, dude. I just want a dinosaur, bro. How long is it going to take us to get a dinosaur? Come on, bro. I just want a T-Rex. How long is it going to take us to get a T-Rex? The T-Rex has to go in this corner. It has to. That's the last open area. We've bought the entire zoo, bro. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this habitat. And hopefully, it will allow me to buy that other area where the T-Rex is going to be for sure. Here he comes in. He's coming in. Coming in hot. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He looks kind of small. And oh, he's kind of big. He's not bad. Not a bad size. You look you look beautiful, bro. All right, let's buy another path A Ferris wheel, bro. I just want a T-Rex. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be getting a T-Rex. I've literally spent money on everything. Oh wait, this is a this is a water dinosaur. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's one of those giant alligators. $55,000 for the exhibit. Let's go ahead and buy this dude. Yeah, he looks like a giant alligator low-key kind of creepy but up oh, there you can just gonna drop him on the bridge you're just gonna bro bro get him in his habitat all right you're kind of creepy but um yeah you're cool buy mountains for nineteen thousand dollars all right oh okay those are massive mountains what is gonna be right here t-rex yes there it is t-rex enclosure $15,000. Oh my gosh. What? It has laser security around the fence. Buy some trees for $12,000. Buy some ponds for $10,000. <laughs> Guys, the T-Rex enclosure is a very expensive $75,000 for this. Okay. We're only $25,000 away. So I think we'll be able to make it there pretty quickly considering how fast we're making money. All right. I'm not going to buy anything else. There's a Ferris wheel. There's a bunch of rocks. There's still a lot of stuff I have to buy. There's probably another enclosure that's going to go right here in front of me. Ooh, and then something right here too. It looks like it's gonna be some type of hut. I'm just focused on the T-Rex boys. That's all I'm focused on. We're at 63,000. We're at 70,000, only $5,000 away from buying a T-Rex. Bro, this is what I've been waiting for. Come on, next paycheck in one second. 76,000, let's flip and go. All right, let's get the T-Rex delivered. Our first T-Rex. Oh, the box isn't that big. I mean, it's pretty big, but wow. Come on, buddy. Yeah! Look at this, dude. Are you flipping serious? I'm just gonna call you Rex. That's it. Just Rex. This is Rex. He is so freaking cool. I wonder how much it costs to buy a second one. Let's see. It costs $96,000 to buy a second T-Rex. That is crazy. All right, we can buy a gate. Okay, so now we haven't enclosed this entire property. So even if T-Rex breaks out, we still have this gate that goes around the entire zoo. There's still a lot of stuff to be done with this zoo. We've done a lot in this video and it's raining really, really hard. If you guys want to see a second part where I expand the zoo even more, all I need you guys to do is leave a like on this video. Until then, I'll see you guys later in a brand new video. Peace. Oh, and click that subscribe button. Be Unspeakable's best friend and click that subscribe button.